H&H Distillery is known for manufacturing alcohol, but since the COVID-19 pandemic, they've also transitioned to making hand sanitizer. They've gotten a boost as well from the Paycheck Protection Program. A little under $7,000, so we're not huge, but that definitely was able to keep us going um, and bring those other outside in so we can have all hands on deck to make that sanitizer. Taylor Howard says the Asheville Distillery donated 8,500 gallons of hand sanitizer across more than 20 counties to first responders, healthcare workers, and nonprofits. We've definitely put all of our production on hold for the first two, three months of COVID. Um, and then it put us way behind on spirits production, so we're still trying to keep up at the moment. With bars closed and restaurants running at half capacity, Howard says demand is slowly building back up again, but he'd like to see more help. A lot of foot traffic. Senator Tom Tillis visited H&H &H as part of a tour touting the importance of the PPP. We know COVID's going to be here a lot longer than any one of us thought, Republican or Democrat, and we need to support it. His opponent, Cal Cunningham, said he supported the PPP, but he's called for more oversight and transparency into the program, which has made over $600 billion available for businesses. Cunningham also criticized Tillis on the amount of time it's taken for Congress to vote on another round of COVID-19 relief. Anyone who's guilty of fraud or abuse should be held accountable. But what you don't do when the vast majority of the people are getting the loans is send a chill down their spine when they're trying to figure out a way to pay for their employees by thinking that maybe they shouldn't act on it. For Taylor Howard, relief can't come quick enough as he works to rebuild inventory and make up for lost time and money during the pandemic. Joe Ripley, WYFF News 4, Asheville.